All right, Beacon, welcome back for Wednesday the 9th. We have got some fun barbell work today. So we've got 20 questions. This is a four time workout. Our time domain here is probably going to end up, and what we're shooting for, is between 12 and 18 minutes. So, three, two, one, go. We're going to start with five burpees. We're going to get on our bar and get in as many power cleans here towards 20 reps as we can. Next time the minute mark rolls around, we've got to stop our barbell movement and do five more burpees. As soon as our burpees are complete, we can pick up where we left off on power cleans until we get to 20 reps. After 20 reps, we move on to thrusters, still being interrupted every minute for these five burpees. After 20 thrusters comes 20 push press, followed by 20 hang power snatches, 20 overhead squats, 20 front squats to finish it out. So as we look at this workout, we're looking, like I said, for 12 to 18 minutes. Times that by five, and that's your burpee count for the day. So our goal with the burpees is not to spike our heart rate so high that we need to rest before we can get our hands on our bar. So we want to find a steady pace. We want to breathe through the burpees so we can stand up after our fifth and get right onto the barbell to start getting in some movements. Let's think about each of these sets of 20 actually being two sets of 10. Okay, so that would create a 12 minute workout here if we could make that happen. Chances are you'll probably find a movement that you need to do in smaller chunks, and that's okay too. But a set of 10, is gonna feel way more doable than a set of 20. So let's really wrap our mind around five burpees and then a goal of 10 movements, knowing that you'll be interrupted again every minute by the five burpees. All right, let's talk through the movements. We're gonna start with a power clean. So for the power clean, the bar is gonna come from the ground, or mid shin if you have an empty bar, and our power clean is gonna be a jump and a land with a mini squat before we stand. Resetting to mid shin each and every time. One thing I want you to think about today is your catch position. We wanna make sure that when we catch the bar, our hips are behind us. So we're setting ourselves up to a squattable stand. After that, it's 20 thrusters. Now your bar will be coming from the ground, so you'll have to do a clean if the bar is, um, to get the bar up. But from there, our thruster, instead of being way up in our front rack, we're gonna go ahead and get a better grip on the bar, elbows pointed um, slightly in front of us. We're gonna get a front squat into a press overhead like so. And then working to drive through the middle of the movement to use our hips to drive the bar overhead. Next up is a push press. For our push press, we're looking to get a dip and explode overhead. So your dip can be slow, but the way up we want to be fast. The same finished position here as we had for the thruster. Next up is a hang power snatch. So the hang means that this movement is gonna come from between your hip pocket and the tops of your knees. And you can choose um, where you want to go anywhere in between there. Power snatch means we've got that mini squat landing again. So am I landing, I'm making sure my hips are back behind me. After that, we've got 20 overhead squats. Bar overhead, elbows pointed up, armpits pointed forward. If 
fighting to keep the bar back over the center of our body. After that, we're going to finish it up with some front squats. Good loose grip on the bar. Elbows staying forward, lifting with your hips. Okay. <sighs> All the fun on the barbell today. Your coaches are going to take the time during the workout to walk you through the mechanics for all of these movements so we can make sure they're dialed in so we can add some intensity in the form of speed today. You want to look for a weight to use that's consistent through the whole workout so you're not stopping and adding weight or removing weight at any point. And you're going to choose that weight based on which of these movements is the most challenging. So for me, that's going to be overhead squats today. And I'm going to look for a weight that I could do 25 unbroken if I had to. Um, so as a reference point, for me, this is probably going to be a 45 pound to 55 pound workout for me. 55 would definitely be pushing it. So 45 might be the smart choice. And that'll allow me to get in the larger sets and not end up in burpee purgatory. So, it's all about barbell cycling today, all about high intensity in the form of speed rather than weight. If you are doing this one for home gym, you've got the exact same task list with dumbbells. So, dumbbell power clean, dumbbell thruster, dumbbell push press, all the way down the room. So real quick, and I'm gonna do it with a single dumbbell. Dumbbell power clean okay, from the center of your body. Okay. That's gonna be one. You're just gonna alternate for the 20. Okay. For dumbbell thrusters, it could certainly be a goblet thruster. Dumbbell push press. We're gonna get in one side at a time again. For here, I would do a set on one side before switching. For hang power snatch, okay, hang power snatch, alternate these. Overhead squats, <laughs> I'm gonna set that guy down and get my expo marker out. Um, 20 pounds is way too heavy for me for a single arm overhead squat. You might find that you don't have a dumbbell at home that's the right weight. So uh, we learned during home gym fry pans work great. And then lastly, front squats. With the dumbbell. All right. So whether you're getting this one done at home or beacon, it's going to be a fun one. See you there.